It was a, uh, an American general, Robert Neller. He visited the Norwegian, uh, right. uh, the, the American Marines based in Norway, and he said it, there is a war coming, a big ass fight. When will that war come? Well, maybe he knows something that I don't know. Okay. Uh, so I would say no, this. I would no say this. Coming. We have a very, very powerful military. We're getting more powerful by the month, by the day. Uh, we're ordering a lot of the equipment that. You're ordering, we're ordering it, but in larger amounts, uh, to put it mildly. Uh, we are building up our military to a point that we've never been before. Uh, we're also, uh, we were very much uh, weakened over the last long period of time, but not with me. Uh, no, I don't expect that. I think we're going to have, uh, because of strength, peace through strength. I think we're going to have a long period of peace. I hope we do. Uh, we have certainly problems with North Korea, but a lot of good talks are going on right now. A lot of good energy. I see a lot of good energy. I like it very much, what I'm seeing. I just spoke this morning with the, as you know, with the President, President Moon of South Korea. He had some really great meetings. His representatives had a great, great meeting. And I had some very good feedback from that. So hopefully a lot of good things are going to work out. No, I think that we will have uh, peace through strength. Our military will be stronger than it ever was in a very short period of time. And uh, that's my opinion. That's not the general's opinion, but I think my opinion counts more right now. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, maybe I can just add that uh, the reason why we are so happy that we have U.S. Marines training in Norway is that that's part of the deterrence strategy that makes sure that we don't have a war in the future. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.